If you're having trouble printing with your Canon MG7720, then you're gonna to wanna to watch the rest of this video. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. And today I've got the Canon MG7720. Essentially, if you're not able to print a certain color, you have choppy prints, you have lines coming up in your prints, or you just have an overall general print quality issue, or you're printing blank pages, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a solution to solve that problem and get back to printing normally again. Now, if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Now, the solution to the problem that you're having is this product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. This product allows you to break up the blockage because that is what happens when you're not able to print a certain color, blank pages, faded prints. Your print head has become clogged and you need to flush out the print head and that's where this product comes into play and you can actually break up that blockage and restore the flow that you need for this printer to get back up and printing normally again. So there will be a link in the description below for this product. You can pause this video at any time, go down to that link, click the link, and come back and watch the rest of this video. You can find additional support from my website, bestprinterstech.com. Also, this product is highly rated on Amazon, so you can be assured that this is a product that will work, it's gonna save you money, it's gonna save you time and hassle, so you can purchase with confidence. All right, so I wanna get right into this repair, but if you have any questions at all, comment below. And there will be other product links down in the description below and I'll be talking about them later on in the video. One very important aspect that you need to understand is you have got to replace your ink. You have to have a new set of ink if you're gonna be doing this process uh, because you're gonna be draining out the ink that's currently in the system and there needs to be new ink to replace the old ink that's being flushed out, especially if you're running low ink on your current cartridges. You're just gonna to wanna to remove those and install some new ones. I'll be leaving a link to some remanufactured ink down in the description below. All right, so let's get right into this repair. So the very first thing you'll want to do before you do anything else is you want to print a nozzle report. The nozzle report is gonna tell you what colors are not printing. Now, if you already know, like I do here with this printer, that none of the colors work, uh, then you're gonna do a general cleaning. That means you're gonna clean all of the colors. If you are able to print and you see that one of the colors is not printing well or multiple colors, those are the ones you're gonna wanna focus on those are the ones that we're going to be cleaning so hold on to that report for later on in this process so the first thing we need to do is open up the printer just like i have it here and you're going to remove the ink cartridges because you need to have access to the print head the one really important part of this process is actually getting new ink because most likely you do not have full ink or you have 50 percent of the ink left if it's at least 50%, you can keep those ink cartridges, but for the most part, you wanna get new ink. At this point, we're gonna be unplugging the printer. We need to unplug the printer so that the print head does not move out of place. We need to have it centered so that we can begin the removal process of the print head. The first thing we're gonna do is there is a latch that you have to pull forward. That will allow you to have access to actually reach in and pull out the actual print head. So luckily we don't have to reach in here and try to work on it inside the printer. We can actually remove the print head and we're gonna be placing it in a plastic container. You want a deep plastic container, something small like this, but deep, like I said. And now we can begin setting up for the actual cleaning. Now at this point, this is where you're gonna to wanna to pull out that report and determine what colors need to be cleaned. You may have to clean all of the colors. You may have to clean one color, two colors, three, you know, 50%, and then the other 50% are good, but you really need that report so that you know. Now you may know off the top of your head what colors are not working, and you can see in there which colors are which. You've got black, gray, uh, yellow, and then black again, and then cyan and magenta. At this point, we're gonna be using the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Link down in the description below. If you haven't already ordered yours, you need to order this cleaning kit so that you can perform this cleaning. It's gonna come with instructions in the box, it's gonna come with cleaning fluid, it's gonna come with a syringe and a silicone tubing already attached to that syringe with additional attachments that I'm gonna show you how to use here in this video. So there's two specific attachments you're gonna be using with this print head, and it's this uh, clear and yellow adapter. This smaller L-shaped piece is gonna connect the adapters to the silicone tubing that's already attached to the syringe. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. 
So for the smaller nozzles, that's the smaller circles, you're going to use the yellow adapter. And just make sure that before you put these adapters on that you actually fill up the syringe with fluid. You can fill up with 20 milliliters at a time. There's 100 milliliters. And I'll explain to you the breakdown of how you should actually do the cleaning because you're going to want to break up the actual usage of the solution. So we're going to start out with the very first nozzle, uh, which is going to be black. And we're going to place our yellow adapter on top of it. What you'll have to do is actually hold the adapter over the nozzle and you will have to push the cleaning solution through while you're holding it. In this case, the nozzle actually was tight enough to hold suction and I was able to push cleaning solution without having to hold it. And this is essentially what you're doing. You're pushing through the cleaning solution. Now, if you're doing a general cleaning, that means you're cleaning all of the colors on this print head, then you're going to use 10 milliliters at a time. So at each 10 milliliter interval, you're going to stop and you're going to switch to the next color. And you're going to do that until you've used all of the cleaning solution. If at any point while you're doing this, you are not able to push the cleaning solution through, even when you're holding the adapter, then you're going to need to warm up the cleaning solution. There's a video on my channel showing you how to do that. And you're going to have to reapply that warmed up cleaning solution because that warm solution is going to help break up the blockage. Sometimes when it's room temperature, it does not push through. Uh, but in this case, all of the colors were able to get the cleaning fluid pushed through the nozzles. Now we're switching to the larger clear nozzle. And you're going to have to play around with this L-shaped piece. The uh, thicker portion goes into the adapter. The skinnier portion goes into the silicone tubing that's on the syringe. And you're going to actually attach this to the black larger nozzle. There's only one of those, so you're only using this one time. Now, like I said, if you're just having problems with the black ink, you're going to want to do the two nozzles. The first one and then this larger one are going to be black. After the black one, the small black one, which is the second nozzle, is the color gray. After that is yellow. And then you have cyan and magenta. You can kind of see the colors already. And if you need more of a guidance, actually on the front of the printer, the way that the pattern is when you're putting in the ink, that is the pattern that is actually in the print head. For some reason, you don't have access to the nozzle report and you don't know what color it is that is not printing, that is not working. Just do a general cleaning like what I'm doing here. Clean every single one of the colors. Do 10 milliliters up to 15 milliliters at a time because there are six nozzles. So six times 15 is 90. You have 10 milliliters left over after that to apply to whatever color you want or to keep just in case you need to do another cleaning. 15 milliliters, I will tell you though, it should be plenty. 10 milliliters should be good. Uh, but if you want to go up to 15 with six colors, uh, that is totally fine. All right, so you don't want to have to come back and do this cleaning again. So you really want to make sure that you do this right the first time. Once you're satisfied with the cleaning, you'll need to dry off the print head with paper towel. Uh, make sure it's not in that moisture. Leave it drying for 24 hours and then we're going to replace the ink. So once that print head has been sitting for 24 hours, you do not touch it for 24 hours. You then are going to place it back in the printer. And at this point, you will need to replace the ink. If you had over 50% or about 50% on your current ink cartridges and you believe that they were not giving you any issues, uh, but to stay on the safe side, really discard them. But if you believe that they still have enough ink, then you can reuse them. But really, your current ink cartridges are most likely what caused this problem. So you may want to start off fresh. So again, link in the description below for these new ink cartridges. Now, for some reason, this kit that I bought does not have gray. The one that I'm going to link you to will have gray. I'll make sure of that. And this is going to be a remanufactured option. It's going to be a lot less expensive and it's going to work just the same. So you're going to save money. You're going to have new sets of ink cartridges and that's really going to get you going in the right direction when it comes to getting back up and printing normally again. So if at this point you have any questions at all, make sure to comment below. I'll do my best to get to each comment. If you need additional support past that, you can visit my website, bestprinterstech.com. But now once the ink cartridges are reinstalled, you're gonna want to actually plug the printer back in and you can actually power on the printer at this point. Remember, you should have waited 24 hours before you are hitting the power button to turn the printer back on with new ink installed. 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to maintenance and really you should in the maintenance section see the option for deep cleaning before you actually print out a nozzle report because that's actually going to push the ink back into the system. So when you hit maintenance, uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print nozzle check pattern, but deep cleaning is the third option. You're going to select that before you do this. Once the deep cleaning is over, you're going to come back and you are going to print a nozzle report. And if for some reason the colors are still not printing, then you're going to want to go back and do the cleaning again, or you're going to want to do another deep cleaning. A uh, deep cleaning is going to push more ink into the system and bring out that color that is missing. So as you can see on this report, all colors except for gray are printing and that's because I did not get the gray ink cartridge included in, in the kit that I purchased. The one I'm linking you to will have the gray ink included. So this was a successful cleaning. Very happy with the results. Hopefully this sheds light on what you need to do with your specific printer. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's all I have for now. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. Thank <laughs> you.